Hi everybody. This is month nine's assembly video. We're going to have a new skill called Square in a Square. We have put a skill building video and a skill building sheet you can print out on the website where you're finding this video. Okay, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on how to do square in a square. I am going to show you, but know that there's a, a very long video um, giving you all that information. The other thing, while this video is semi-generic, if you are in Katy and you picked up your block on Thursday, there was a typographical error in the instructions. The cutting instructions are correct. In here, in the first step, it says print one, two and a half inch square. Well, those are two inch squares, not two and a half inch squares. So just cross out the little half. What you cut is correct. It's just when we put it in here, I, I just guess I decided it needed a seam allowance and it didn't, okay? So when we look at our blocks, knowing that they're nine patches, this month we have the four corner blocks, which are made one way, and then we have the four middle blocks, which are another technique, and then we always have our nine patch in the center. So the first one we're going to go through is one of our corner blocks. So we are going to start by taking a two inch square. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. Michelle, can you see that okay? Yep. Okay, Michelle and Millie are actually filming. So if you hear little baby noises, that's why. All right, so here is our two inch square. And what we need to do is take one of our background triangles and we're gonna line it up so that we tuck it even against the two sides. We're gonna sew a quarter inch seam and when we press that open, we now have a funny looking shape, okay? Now, we have to come back and put a second one on there. And the way I know which side to put it on is that I essentially, I lay this down and make sure, because what we need, we're making a large triangle. We need to make sure these two things line up so that it's a long triangle. Once I have that right, I do then just flip it down. And then that tells me what side, where I need to place it. And you are going to sew your quarter inch right across here so that when you flip it up, you are gonna have a unit that looks like that. So you will have a triangle that has your two triangles here, this, and sewing that on makes another triangle, okay? Now, after you get that done, you are going to take your color, and I'm trying to remember, this was print two. We cut this three and seven eighths inch square, and that is going to be the other half. It's cut on the diagonal, you're gonna line those up. You want to line up your outside edges of your triangle. So if they're off a little bit, you can absorb that in your seam allowance. And then once they're lined up, you're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance. And when you open that up, you have a block that should now measure three and a half inches. And you're going to make four of these, okay? I recommend you put your bias square ruler on it and you check it, making sure your diagonal line stays on the seam and check that it actually measures three and a half inches. If it doesn't, if it's a little small, you can back off on your seam allowance a little bit. If it's a little big, by all means, as long as you keep your diagonal line on here, you can trim it down a little bit and you're gonna trim your wings off, okay? So you'll have four of those. Those are pretty easy and those will be your corner blocks. Now, when we look at the middle blocks, we're going to do what's called a square and a square. So when you look at the finished block, <laughs> I picked up two triangles at the same time. I just realized I'm doubled up there. <laughs> You're going to start with this two inch square. Okay, so excuse me, this is your two and three eighths inch square. And then we're going to add four triangles to it. And when you get this block done, what you end up with is your original square will now be a diamond and the triangles we add to the four sides now create a new square. 
This is a pretty popular block. You see it used a lot. And some people will then do another round around this. So you get a square and a square and a square. So um, it, it actually turns out to be a very versatile block. Okay. But what are the challenges with this block? Well, the challenges are doing the square and a square. Okay. Because you're adding triangles to the square. And it's important that the triangle is centered. So one way to do this, and it's in the skill building video, is to draw a line dissecting the middle, and then you always put the point on that line. But I like to use my point trimmer, and it was here a second ago, and it's in the video, that um, the cutting video, but I clip I'll use the point trimmer to clip off my wings. Then when I go to line this up, I know exactly where the edges go because they match the edge of the square. And so you're going to start by sewing opposite, opposite colors on opposite sides. So I sew the green one here, and I've got the wings clipped, and I sew the purple one here. And then when I press this up, I've got this kind of funny looking shape, but I've got the start of a new square. Now you're going to come along and you're going to take the next one and you are going to line it up here. And again, you're, if you clip your wings, you're going to find that they will line perfectly up. There we go, on the edges. And you sew your quarter inch seam allowance. And what you end up with when you're done is you end up with this finished square. It should measure three and a half. Like I said in the um, square and a square skill video, there are formulas out there. We go out and we just use Quilter Paradise, um, their calculator, and we put in that this needed to be three, and a, three inch finished, and it comes back and tells us what size to cut these. Well, it's a formula that has a little bit of rounding in it, so this may not be exact. It's also all bias edges, so that may not be helping us at all. And so make sure you take your square ruler and check and make sure it measures three and a half inches and that it's fairly square, okay? You're gonna make four of these, okay? So when you get those done, then you're gonna make your center nine patch. And remember, we do work with three one and a half inch squares to make the center. And then I strip pieced this and I'm gonna cut this into two one and a half inch segments and then we'll put those together to create the center square. So essentially, you're going to end up with nine squares, four of them that are square and a square, four of them that have the corner triangles and your center nine patch. And when you put it together, you're going to get this really fun block. Um, it's really, when you see it done, and I'm sorry I don't have one completely put together to hold up and show you, but when it's done, it's a beautiful block. And while there's lots of pieces, um, it fits really well into the blocks we've been making so far. So the month nine, there's actually 13 blocks. So we actually have four more to do. And then, yes, I've been asked a lot about the finishing kits. On my agenda this week is to pick the fabrics for the last four blocks and try to get a sample made of one of the colors and what it's gonna look like finished. And then we should be, you should be hearing fairly soon about <clears throat> the opportunity to purchase a finishing kit. So uh, we're almost there. And no, I have not thought about next year yet. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to get through this year. And, um, and I'm really hoping that soon we'll be able to meet in the classroom again. And um, we'll see how that goes. I've kind of been given the vaccines a chance to see if they're, everybody's comfortable that they're working. And, but most of you that came in and saw me this weekend and Katie were anxious to start meeting in person again. So we'll start looking at that. So that is month nine. It's called the Sweetheart Block. I hope you have fun making it. And I will see you next month for month 10.